Let's go. Hey everybody, Coach Scott here. Today I'm out here getting my morning walk in, smelling the fresh air of liberty and freedom. I was talking to my friend Paul Winkler about the rising rates of depression in young people that we're seeing at our clinic. And basically what's happened is our brains are getting hooked on social media, video games, constant phone activity. We've talked about this a lot. And this is what's called the pleasure pathway uh, that social media and movies and videos is known as the dopamine reward pathway system. So we were discussing an article that was written by a lady named Dr. Lemke, who is a psychiatric professor at Stanford University. Some interesting things came out of that article, and I kind of want to break them down to you, summarize it, because a lot of what the article outlines is what we've been seeing at our clinic. I've been watching young people, teenagers, early 20s, coming in to see me for debilitating anxiety and depression. Uh, and again, dropping out of college, living with their parents. They can't hold down jobs. Uh, many of these same young people that we see every day uh, talking about wanting to self-harm and, and even contemplating suicide, and it's crazy. And in her article, she says that the more and more young people are playing video games every night, even into the early morning. They're on their phones all day long, just like we are, by the way. And this is the social dilemma. 20-year-olds, she said, are getting things that we've never experienced before in terms of clinical settings. And she said they used to be prescribed antidepressants and things, but today she says uh, that she's prescribing a different course of action as a psychiatrist. And I thought it was interesting because as I've seen more and more patients that have suffered from depression and anxiety, health battles, health challenges, obesity, obviously the lockdown and this pandemic hasn't helped with that one single bit. But she says instead of prescribing prescription medications, she says, because one of the things that she's looking at is not only just the social uh, distancing and uh, just absolute kind of the losing of the human connection, but what she's found is she said that our neurotransmitters and our brain functions that are associated with feeling pleasure, feeling excitement, having that drive. Uh, she said she's prescribing not a prescription medication, but taking an absence, an absence of social media. And I think that's a good lesson for all of us. My wife and I were just talking about this, how we have all these addictions in our lives, things like uh, refined grains, refined sugars, sugars, and then we got the drug addic addictions, and then we got things like opioids. But now we have a whole nother class and a new class of addiction called electronics. Again, that wasn't happening 20 years ago, 25 years ago. But today, playing video games and getting on your phone and Netflix and uh, social media assets, it has really become the drug of choice. It's the digital drug of choice. And that probably, you know, when you think about a digital drug of choice, you're thinking about cell phones and computers and iPads and all these things that we carry around with us that has more power, by the way, than when we had sent a man to the moon back in the 1960s. That little machine has more power and more capability and more computer uh, e expansion than when we sent a man back into the moon. And so again, today I wanna talk to you about how you get out of that. And one of the things that she recommended was you gotta take some time off. You gotta take some time off the social media, off the phones, put down the computer, close it up, the iPads, making sure that you're not just sitting there watching the TV uh, mindlessly hours and hours each day. And I think that's an important reminder for all of us, including me, which by the way, I'm on that same device that I'm talking about. But I wanna challenge and encourage you today to take advantage of life's little unexpected joys, the unexpected rewards, and that is the true human connection that we have with each other, the ability to connect on uh, ongoing meaningful levels with your friends and family. So pick up that phone if you're gonna use it at all. Pick it up to call somebody and have a real conversation with somebody. Don't text, pick up the phone and hear their voice. And if you don't have that option to do that anymore, if you've lost loved ones, 
you wish you could do that, then take advantage of the opportunity we have now to absolutely start developing ongoing, meaningful relationships and not about being all about the digital energy and the digital rush and the dopamine and the serotonin and adiponectin and that digital reward pathway that has sucked us in and sucked the very life out of who we are. So if you will do that, like I have over the past few weeks, trying to do it less and less and less, it's meant a whole lot to me. It's, it's helped me gain a new perspective and a new value of the human interconnection and the connection that we have with God's greatest gift, and that is people. So God bless you guys. I hope this has been encouraging to you. I challenge you to, to take the next step and take action so that we can be all that God has created us to be. And if you'll do that, I believe and declare that you will be everything that you were created to be. God bless you guys. Take care. I'll see you on the next video.